welcome to today's video. I am so excited to see you because, oh, let me just calm down. I have an announcement. <laughs> Again, I know, another announcement. It's gonna be one of those months, I feel. This should be my last announcement for some time. I can't actually promise that, so <laughs> I'm not gonna <laughs> rescind that. I will only be honest, so. It, it's it's a big one though. It's a big announcement that I have been wanting to share with you for a while, at least since September. So I'm so grateful to have this burden off my shoulders and to be able to share it with you with joy instead of disappointment because there were so many roller coasters along the way where I was like, oh my gosh, is this going to work out? Before we get into that, even though I've completely word vomited onto you, I do need to introduce myself. If this is the first time that you're seeing me, I am the Hermit Tarot, and this is my YouTube channel. I do tarot readings on here. I also have a podcast called Spirit Talks. There should be another episode of that up next week, fingers crossed. Um, and today's video is going to be a tarot reading. We're gonna do a pick a group general collective reading together. It's on a topic that we're all too familiar with. I think most of us have watched a video like this before, but it's been a hot minute since I've done one. So we're going to be asking Spirit, how is your person thinking and feeling? And I also, I just wanted to say, when it comes to this topic, the way that I filmed each group is that you could be thinking about anybody. I didn't want you to come into this reading thinking that you had to have a divine counterpart, thinking that you had to have a soulmate in separation. I didn't want you to even think that you had to think about love. You know, you could think about family, friendship. I wanted it to be as open and inclusive as possible because a lot of the feedback that I'm getting from you guys when I do post polls on Instagram and YouTube is that y'all are wanting more open readings and things that resonate for people who are very, very single or for people who aren't really looking for love. So I thought, let's do a thinking and feeling for the whole community. <laughs> as long as you keep it open-minded to a person in general, whether they are a crush or someone who you're on a very established journey with, um, just try to enter your reading with a clear idea of who you want to channel into. Otherwise, you will notice that your messages start to become a bit fuzzy from personal experience when general intentions offer general solutions. So really try to come in with a clear intention over who you want to focus on today. But we will have four different groups to choose from. So as always, take your time. Don't rush it. Give yourself enough time to tune into a group that feels like it's going to give you the most honest, resonating messages. So I do just want to take up a little bit more of your time to finally reveal this announcement. And the announcement also comes off of another giveaway. Um, I did put a quick post up on my community channel um, page, my community page on my channel, saying that if anybody could guess what item I'd be releasing to my store next, they would get a copy of it for free. And congratulations to Shannon L, whose beautiful post and face and name I'll put up here. You have won because you were the first person to comment on the post. And you're also the first person to guess correctly as well. I have created another oracle deck and it is very much in theme with my musical obsession and my desire to have music in my readings. I'm always putting songs in my readings and I'm always using music for my readings as well. So this deck has just been oh, something that I've wanted to do for a while, but I've wanted to do it right. So I will introduce you to it now. I'm going to have pictures up on my website later this week and there will be another giveaway as well um, so that more people can win it. However, it will be available to purchase this Friday. It will coincide with a live stream that I plan on doing as well. And in that live stream, I will officially announce um, the sale of this deck. So let me show you where, let me stop stalling, shall I? I will show you the empty <laughs> box because I've already opened it up and delved deep into <laughs> the Oh, look at me stuttering, I'm so excited. I've fully delved into this deck already. So it is going to be known as the Musical Messages Oracle deck. This box is made out of recyclable um, cardboard. So my big thing at the moment is trying to push sustainability and recyclability 
when I found out how much clothing was just left in landfills, honestly, it just changed me. So I'm trying to be more conscious. Granted, I'm not 100% there. I'm, I'm not perfect. But I, when it comes to creating products ongoing, I'm really going to try to get sustainable packaging, sustainable products, and things that are either reusable or recycled. And this deck, this box is a part of that, that idea, that goal that I have, that vision. The back of the box simply says the Hermit Tarot and a QR code which leads to my website, which is also on the bottom of the packaging. Did I say packaging? My bad. The deck itself on the back of each of the cards features this beautiful design. That's my own backyard in the background. <laughs> It has that beautiful message, Musical Messages Oracle Deck. It is technically still a Channeled Messages Oracle Deck, but it features music. So I was like, how do I bring music into this title? Channeled Messages Musical Deck? No, Musical Channeled Messages Deck. I was like, just Musical Messages. Musical Messages. Leave it at that. These two cards that I'm holding will tell you about the deck, why I created it, and the intention behind it. It will also be a card that explains to you how you read your cards. There are two different variations of cards in these in this deck. There are 41 of these channeled messages from the song lyrics deck cards, and then there are seven chakra cards as well. So there's yeah, you can pause it there if you want to <laughs> read more of that. Um, but I want to show you the cards because I don't want to take up too much time in this intro. I feel like my intros have been too long lately. So the first card that I want to show you is this ecstasy card. So as you can see, you've got the lyrics. Um, the lyrics are channeled messages, and then we also have the QR code down here, which will take you to the YouTube clip of your song, because I'm always putting links in my description box. All you have to do is scan that QR code. It'll take you straight to the YouTube, um, what's the word, music video. And then I also pay credit to the artist and the song. So that's the artist, that's the song, as well as I include the word that inspired the song in the first place. So the way that I created this deck was that I kind of just brainstormed a bunch of emotions and I went through a psychological sort of checklist of the primary emotions that are experienced, things such as ecstasy, surprise, awe, rage, anger, bitterness, love, amazement, all those feelings. And then I shuffled through my deck and I tried to find music and songs that to me resonate with that emotion. So each card has a different color that corresponds to that emotion. For example, we have anger here and the song quits by a flume and literally so there are 48 cards in this deck the combinations are very thorough you know like even though there's only 48 cards you could you could be here for a while and the way that it functions is as a channeled messages deck or as a messages deck in general say you want to know well how does this person feel about me at the moment oh do i want to ask this on camera how does this person feel about me at the moment spirit and then the card that you pull out is amazement oh i like that so um you know you could it could it could work in many different ways and unfortunately the deck arrived after i filmed all of your groups except for group four so i didn't get to use the deck in today's reading but i will be using it in future readings and for the extended readings in today's video so that is where I need to tell you that today's video does have extended readings as well. The links will be in the description box. Thank you so much for joining me in this long intro. I hope you're as excited about this deck as I am. As I mentioned, I'll have photos up on my website very soon and I should be able to get it in the store in terms of ready for purchase by this Friday. So I'm so excited and I will be announcing a giveaway again on Friday and the live stream. There'll be more info on that later in the week. I just really wanted to share this with you. Like I said, I've been having this burden on me since September. So it's really good to be able to share it with you. Um, that's all for me. I think I've taken up enough of your time. Thank you for waiting if you watched this long and I will take you into the pick a group portion of today's video now. Hi everyone, welcome to the pick a group portion of today's reading. I always introduce this portion as though I'm doing the intro again. <laughs> 
Oh, it's so lovely to have you all here. We have four groups to choose from, as you can see. The Most of these beautiful items that were selected for today's reading have come from the ocean. I think I need to go and soak myself in the sea. I think it's about time I do it, like energy cleansing. That's probably why I've been subconsciously picking all these beach items. So if you're like me, maybe this is your intuitive hit as well. Um, join me in the sea. I will be doing it separately, obviously, but in spirit, we'll be there together. <laughs> and I think it's time that we do a collective cleanse, shall we? Cleanse ourselves before the end of the year. Anyway, that message aside, let's get into the four groups today. Starting with group one over here, we have this crustacean shell. Now, I believe this came from a crayfish. I used to eat seafood all the damn time. Seafood is the food of my ancestors. So I knew, I know seafood very well, but when it's this bleached by the sun, it has me second guessing myself. I'm pretty sure this is a crayfish shell. Um, it's usually from a painted craze here in Australia. You can Google that animal if you want to, if that helps you sort of imagine and maybe get more intuitive hits. But the group one item is definitely from a crustacean. Group two, you have this beautiful beach rock. How precious, how cute. I love this rock so much. I'm pretty sure I collected this rock on a Twitch stream one time. Um, I don't do them as much as I want to. Trust and believe I want to get back on Twitch, but I need to conserve my energy and I'm feeling very pulled thin at the moment. So once I'm more stretchable, flexible, I'll be back on Twitch. Group two, you have this beautiful beach rock slash quartz crystal here. Group three, you're the only group that has an item that isn't from the beach. Although red carnelian can be charged in the sun, um, this crystal, I think I bought it myself. I can't remember if it was a gift, but it's been in my collection for some time. You probably would have seen it in previous videos. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous crystal. Red Carnelian has sort of charging properties. I don't use it as much as I want to, but I do like having it around. I just find that I'm constantly having to charge them to get that sort of beautiful boost of energy effect that they give. So that's group three. And lastly, group four, you have this gorgeous piece of coral. You can kind of see how it would have looked underwater if I hold it like this. Gorgeous. It's bleached like its brethren because it was found on the beach and I think it was there for a while, but it's pretty and beautiful nonetheless. Group four, you have the coral. So, you may wish to pause the video now if you feel you need more time looking at the different objects associated with the four groups. If you would like to though, I do have a quick one minute meditation that will be playing right after this clip. That meditation may help you connect with your intuition. It was created and intended to guide you towards your intuition and to help you choose a group that you feel most drawn to. When you know which of these four groups you're feeling most called to, you may have messages in more than one group, by the way. That could be why you're conflicted. Um, but when you know which group you want to watch first or which group is yours, check the timestamps in the description box and join me in your reading. So the first thing I want you to do with me is to take in two deep, mindful breaths. Breathe in, two three, four, and out, two, three, four, and in, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four. Now I want you to focus on clearing your mind. It's natural to have thoughts racing at this point. I want you to embrace each thought as it comes and let it slip as quickly as it came in. Focus on clearing and balancing out these thoughts so that they come and go without a desire to be attached to them. And now, with the rest in mind, I want you to think of the first group that comes to your mind. It may be a number. It may be an object that I showed you. It could be a specific color. It could be a feeling that you felt when I showed you each of the groups today. When you are ready and when you feel confident, 
Select your group and join me in your reading. Hi group one and welcome! If you chose the crab shell over here, then this is going to be your um, reading. I just realized this is a lobster shell, so I don't know why I've called it a crab shell in your reading, but okay. It may have reference or significance, otherwise it definitely looks like a lobster shell to me, or crayfish is what we say. We have crayfish here. I haven't seen any, I don't think there's lobsters in cans, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, welcome group one. If this is the first time you're seeing me, oh Lord. <laughs> sometimes I'm more organized, sometimes my intros are exactly like that. We're asking spirit today, how is your person thinking and feeling about you? I am excited for this reading because I will be using some new decks. One of these decks is so fresh, I've only used it once on myself. I literally took it out of the packaging earlier to, to actually, I don't know if that's true. It came in several layers of packaging, so it's kind of just been in its inner package, um, just kind of marinating in my essence, getting accustomed to my energy. So I'm very excited to use this deck for you. Let's get some clear, honest messages for group one, please, spirit, for the lobster shell. Group one, please, spirit. How is group one's person thinking about them? How, what are their thoughts of group one? What is group one's person thinking? We have summer coming out for you first. How is group one's person thinking about them, spirit? What are their thoughts of group one? Oh, do you want to be upright or reverse sweets? Upright, we have acceptance. What about you two? What are you doing in this world? Oh, hello. We have feeling sad. Okay. Summer, acceptance, feeling sad. What are you doing? And we also have unreliable over here. Okay. We're going to talk about their thoughts first and then we'll get into their feelings. I have a strong feeling that either there is an end of a cycle here or the beginning of one. Now, as I mentioned in the intro, this reading can be tailored for any sort of connection, whether it's a crush, whether it's a long-term soul connection. We're going to allow the messages to flow for everybody and anybody who wishes to join this community. So I do need to grab my amethysts and my amazonite. I just said that the other way around, but anyway, because I want to be careful about what I tell you, group one. There seems to be with summer here the culmination of something, and it feels like quite a significant cycle that we're closing out here. I want to say that Summer tells me, like, I don't know, in other parts of the world, obviously summer is in the middle of the year, but in the southern hemisphere, summer is at the end of the year. And summer represents Christmas, the end of school, um, going on holidays. Like, that's what summer is, the end of the year for people in Australia, at least. So that, to me, is making it feel like the close of a cycle. My, my references are saying that there's something going on here with summer. And even though there may be a lot of optimism about what is yet to come, there is still this feeling as though something about your connection is unreliable and causing sadness and maybe some level of pain. Yep. Excuse me, I just choked on my own tongue on my days. Your person has learned to accept the situation for what it is. They've accepted that the, these feelings aren't necessarily going to change for you. I feel like this person has had to accept the situation for something, almost as though they can't change it or they can't control it. There could be distance here as well. Um, there could be separation that is just, un you both are unable to kind of cross that bridge and get together but I do have a feeling that this person's thoughts are very much about just trying to think positive and reconcile with the truth or the reality of the situation. I want to say that this person's thoughts of you are unreliable as well in terms of they may flick back and forth. Um, this person is just thinking in general that this connection is unreliable at this time. I want to say that the sadness is more like a bitter taste in their mouth at this point. 
Um, for some of you, this person isn't necessarily sad because with summer and acceptance here, they're trying to move forward. They're trying to stay positive and optimistic about what the future holds for them. But I do sense that when it comes to the thoughts of you and this connection, um, they may have beautiful memories of the two of you, but they just have this sort of bitter taste in their mouth when it comes to um, this connection. So their thoughts are tinged with pessimism, almost as though they think of you and then there's like this melancholy, nostalgic feeling as well. Um, I'm hearing I wish we could go back and now this is making me think of that time machine song by Willow. I was listening to it this morning again. Um, but yeah, it's just this strange melancholy nostalgic feeling as though you guys shared a lot of memories potentially um, during a holiday period or when somebody was on holidays as well. So maybe coming into the holidays again, it's triggering a lot of those thoughts. Let's get some tarot out for their thoughts, shall we? Can we get some tarot out? Group one, how is their person thinking? Group one, how is their person thinking about them? I knew it. Look at this. The ten of wands reversed. There's that summer feeling, unburdening themselves. How is group one's person thinking? Acceptance, the nine of cups. That's lovely, actually. How is group one's person thinking about them, spirit? How is group one's person thinking about them? We have the five of swords. The three of swords flashed itself, but wasn't wanting to come out, which is positive. It means this person's thoughts are progressing. Um, they're definitely not as hurt or sad as they used to be in this connection. Their thoughts of you are progressing to a point where they're a big slowly changing the way they see you and the way they see this connection. I have a feeling that this person had to grieve you, sweets. Um, like they had to get over you. For some of you, this person could have ghosted you with the Five of Swords, but I want to get the last card out and then we'll talk about what I'm feeling here. Group one, please, spirit. Oh, there we go. The Six of Swords coming out for you in the final position. What's your bottom deck energy at this stage? Hello. We have the Mother of Wands, but you know what Spirit actually wanted to show me? The Star Reversed. That was exactly what I was feeling. They're trying to be hopeful, optimistic, but there's this nostalgic, melancholy feeling that keeps them stuck in the past when they think of you. This person may just be like at a different part of their life. Like maybe y'all are, are very much disconnected. I don't think there's much communication in this group. We'll have a look at feelings next, but based on what I'm feeling and seeing, I don't think that you're a group that communicates often with your person. Um, it feels like this person has to like reflect in order to connect with you. They don't have you in their present. Their thoughts of you involve the past, sweet pea, and healing and needing to move forward and accept things for what they are. With the mother of wands here, they do look up to you. They, they think of you positively. They think of you in the sense of like, you're an incredible person, you're very attractive, you're very strong. You also come across as resilient sweets. You're someone who is very capable. My table is crooked, pardon me. Now these are gonna be a little bit crooked. Um, you're very resilient and you're someone who is very attractive in their eyes. Um, they think of you as a protective energy and they see you as someone who is protecting their energy. Like, look at how the snake is just cuddled up to those beautiful eggs. Like, no thank you, do not take my babies. So I have a strong feeling, group one, that this person has had to accept that you're someone that makes them very happy, right? You're someone who could have been a wish fulfillment in their eyes, but you're also someone who needs to focus on their own happiness and likewise. This person has accepted that they need to fill their own cup when it comes to you. This person has accepted that you are someone who ticks all of their boxes though, but they can't seem to rely on you to be their source of ongoing inspiration. You're not a part of, of that journey moving forward. This person has to had to think about how they're going to move forward because this connection may have felt like a burden to them like a responsibility to them, like something that was very overwhelming and difficult to navigate. It could have felt like a challenge in the sense of 
they really just either didn't know how to move things forward or really took it upon themselves to do everything. Take it as it resonates because if you're here and you're checking in on this person's energy, I would assume that you're the one that's contributing a lot of energy. But I want to tell you this person thinks that they're the ones that were trying and that they were failing. They, they were the only ones that were trying and they were failing. They were trying to shoot their shot or, or really push their energy forward here. They feel like they had a lot of responsibility in this connection. And now they're trying to unburden themselves and, and lower their expectations because it feels like this person expected so much to happen maybe too quickly or so much to happen and it hasn't. So they're just having to re-examine what could possibly happen here based on the energy that has been invested. I also want to tell you with the Five of Swords that it does feel like somebody could have ghosted somebody here or somebody could have walked away or stopped communicating. It's like this person was expecting a conversation to keep going or maybe you were. It just feels like a conversation should have kept going but somebody walked away because they were afraid of what other people would say or think. This card indicates possible social misfortune. So you could have had a shared community or you could have communicated in, in a way where others could listen and somebody chose to just like, mm, I'm going to bounce from that conversation because I don't want other people to hear me get rejected or I don't want other people to hear what I have to say to them or I just don't want other people to see me talking to them. It's a very... Um, sudden change in communication to the point where it almost feels like a conflict now we went from going to have a conversation to wow I'm, I'm literally mad and angry at you and now we're fighting so it's a very sudden change here in communication style almost just so much so that maybe this person wasn't expecting it to eventuate like this especially with the acceptance it's like they had to accept so that that was what has happened um, they honestly do think about you a lot more than they would care to as well. Your thoughts of you are constantly going through their head when they aren't um, onto it. I feel like this person really tries to control their thoughts, group one. Now with unreliable, they have the six of swords. So that tells me that this connection wasn't one that they felt was very stable and that they're thinking that things need to start to move towards peace, towards stability, towards um, a sense of calm, you know, whatever was left up in the air, there is a feeling of wanting closure here and wanting things to balance out, wanting harmony, at the very least, just wanting peace, no more of this sort of conflict that could have happened here with the Five of Swords, it could have been as bad as an argument or it could have been as simple as they stopped talking to you, but there was a change in communication style here that caused this sadness. Now, I do think that this person still thinks of you very highly. Their thoughts of the connection is that it can heal. Um, at the very least, this person feels like a friend with the star. This person feels like someone who wants you in their good books, maybe because of the shared community or because they do look up to you. They just want to make sure that you're on peaceful terms. Let's have a look now at how they are feeling. Group one, please, Spirit, some clear messages for group one. How is group one's person feeling about them today? How is group one's person feeling about them at the time that they see this reading? How is group one's person feeling about them? Oof, we have, I need to tell you how I feel. Interesting. How is group one's person feeling about them? I know that I am worthy of love. This person leveled up their energies. They're just trying to convince their head to the same thing. Group one, how does that person feel? All my days, kissing you makes me melt. I'm starting to feel a scandalous energy. <laughs> group one, how does that person feel towards group one? How does that person feel towards group one? Thank you. Oh, that's nice. I'm sorry for hurting you. Thank you so much. That's always nice to hear, a sincere apology as well. It's, it's, it is sincere because I can see now that this person has had a lot of time 
to at least think about this. I want to say a lot of productive time because for some of you, this could just be a new thing, you know, with that summer things are just kicking off and a cycle is ending inevitably, but the cycle is more of a burden. They're pushing the burden into more manageable expectations. Instead of it being this weight of unrealistic expectations, they're turning it into something that they can achieve. And for all of you, this person still has very strong, strong, beautiful feelings for you. It's their head that betrays them. This person's mind is constantly flicking between optimism and pessimism, between healing and hope, between pain and just positivity. This person still sees you as someone who is so attractive and could make them so happy. They've accepted their feelings for you, but it's their thoughts that betray them. Bottom deck energy is I'm fully charged. <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> That's their feelings. <laughs> I'm fully charged. Yeah, so wow, the feelings do run deep is what I'm gathering from that. The feelings run deep, right? Like a full battery. They got a full load here for you. I need to tell you how I feel. Honestly, that is about as explanatory as it could be. Um, we'll see what Tarot can tell me as well, but there's definitely... So feelings here that need to be expressed and that could be why this person is sad because communication has changed or maybe they realize now that they need to assert themselves over the situation to get the outcome that they want there's something about you and them meeting that is unreliable they can't rely on you to just know how they feel they can't rely on the circumstances to help them get the outcome that they want they have to assert themselves over the situation and they could be very afraid of what other people are going to think as well if you guys share a community or if you're one of those people who never sort of travel alone and every time you see this person you're with others we also have I know that I'm worthy of love so that's beautiful because that means that this person is striving to be emotionally available they're striving to be emotionally ready for whatever twist or turn this connection may take, especially with this card falling beneath acceptance and the Nine of Cups. I'd be so interested to see what Tarot can tell us about this person's feelings with this card. But this tells me that they are working on being emotionally available for you, Group 1. Kissing you makes me melt. So if you have shared a kiss or kisses with this person, know that they really cherish those moments. If you haven't, this person is really thinking about it. They're really thinking about those opportunities. If this is a friendship connection or a family connection, it's the intimacy that this kind of physical touch brings. This person may just be craving more physical intimacy from you, group one, whether that's a hug, a friendly hug, a family hug, or a romantic embrace here. I really want I really want you to know that this person feels like that could help fix everything. Like they do need to apologize, yes, but they also think that a physical embrace of some sorts would also help convey their true honest feelings. I'm starting to see now that this person is not good with communication. This person's words are their downfall, whether they're thinking of it themselves or whether they're trying to convey it to you through speech. This person is much more of a physical person. They prefer to act and to show you with their actions. Um, there's so much love in their heart and then their head is just in turmoil and their actions are really trying to push them forward towards what they want with you. Let's see what Tarot can tell us, shall we? Group one, please, spirit. How does group one's person feel about them? Oops. How does group one's person feel about them? We have the two of wands. They're waiting for the right time. For some of you, this person is making plans. They have to try to figure this out. It feels like a logistical thing. Um, the two of wands for me is almost about trying to figure out which direction to take. So they want to tell you how they feel, but they have to figure it out. Like, how do I do this? What do I do? How can I plan this? Sometimes this card talks about dating as well in romance, um, sort of like planning that date moment. Um, but for y'all, it just feels like this person is just trying to figure out like left or right, Wednesday or Saturday, today or tomorrow, text or phone call. You know, they're trying to figure out how to do this. Um, 
their feelings for you are developing as well with the two of wands. It's not something that has culminated. Remember over here, we were talking about the end of the cycle. That end of the cycle was the burden that they had placed on themselves, unrealistic expectations when it comes to the way that they were thinking about this connection. They're ending that. They're grounding themselves. They're looking at it with more optimism. They're focusing on the way that you actually make them feel. And they're trying to heal the way that they look at the future of this connection. This is still someone who has a melancholy side, who feels that running into you and, and trying to create something is, is not a complete um, guarantee. They also think that their thoughts of you are unreliable in the sense of this person may be an overthinker or may experience a lot of intrusive thoughts, um, things that aren't ne necessarily truthful. They just kind of come in and, and sabotage this person's way of thinking but their feelings for you are very strong and very true. I know that I am worthy of love. Spirit, what is this person feeling for group one? Hello. Nothing flipped over. I'm going to get again. How is this person feeling about group one, Spirit? We have the page of cups reversed. You know what that tells me? This person feels as though the connection has hit a roadblock when it comes to feelings. Either... They have developed feelings outside of their current limitations. You may see this person as a friend, whereas they've developed romantic feelings. You may see this person as a stranger, whereas they're starting to develop friendly feelings. Their feelings have outgrown the current dynamics of your relationship. I know that I'm worthy of love with the Page of Cups reverse. tells me that this person has really been working on their emotional space the way that they give and receive love. Sorry, I'm expecting a package today. <laughs> I just wanted to check that it wasn't here yet. Um, and just the way that they communicate their feelings. They're trying to think about what to tell you. This could also indicate that they really do owe you an apology. Um, they don't want to step on your toes. They don't want to sabotage or self-sabotage. So they're trying to figure out a way to present themselves and their feelings to you, their honest feelings to you under the right circumstances. I feel the Page of Cups as someone who's trying to break free of some sort of mold that you've put over them, a friend zone potentially, or an acquaintance zone, or a stranger zone. They're trying to get closer to you. What about kissing you makes me melt spirit? How does group one's person feel about them right now? They are, look at this, we have the death card. So they're, they're saying that they don't want it to be over. I don't know what's going on here. Has things just fizzled out? Maybe not a lot has happened in quite some time or you were expecting action and nothing happened. The death card reverse says that there was a perceived ending or there could have been. It's starting to feel like momentum is slowing down potentially. But it isn't over yet. And this person's feelings for you are definitely growing. I feel that their feelings are transforming uncontrollably in many ways or just under circumstances that feel chaotic. It's kind of like this person is trying to figure out what's going on. But at the same time, they're feeling pressure to do something about it. Um, so they're very confused, to say the least. But at the same time, they know what their feelings aren't. Right. And they know that their feelings aren't simply, um, you know, where, whatever it was before friendship or strangers. They, there's something more there. They want to build more with you. Why are they sorry for hurting group one? What are these feelings over here, spirit? How is group one's person feeling about them? We have the Eight of Pentacles reverse. They maybe where they were supposed to invest more time and effort here. The Eight of Pentacles reverse says that they're sorry for not spending more time, maybe for prioritizing other things. They're sorry that they couldn't put more effort towards you. They're sorry that they couldn't make more time for you. They're sorry that they didn't work on this more with you. Um, this person is sorry for focusing on other things. They may have hurt you by focusing more on their career or something else. For some of you, it was their body, okay? Maybe they started doing other things instead, um, but it was a very material switch. They were very focused on their material world instead of you. This person's feelings are that they did make a mistake or they at least need to explain themselves as to why they shifted their priorities. They need to explain 
why this happened to you. I do feel that they want to apologize as well, though. Yeah, this person feels sorry that they didn't make more room for you in their life, that they didn't prioritize this connection, and that they weren't able to offer you more of their time. Logistical errors, I'm hearing. <laughs> why does logistical keep coming up? <laughs> logistical errors. Okay, let's get some channeled messages from them, shall we? Group one, please, spirit. What does this person want to say to group one? What does this person want to say to group one? I am coming, trust. Wow, that's really positive. Sorry, I was going to try to keep a calm demeanor all reading, but this gave me so much joy. I am coming, trust. That is my magician slash, slash ace of um, pentacles, excuse me. So it really tells me that this person is trying to take action. They're trying to work up the courage for many of you. They're trying to work up the logistical... <laughs> space whatever that means whether that means they need more time they need more room in their life they need to prioritize things um they're trying they're trying they're trying is what you need to know i feel this person wanting an opportunity again in your area look at this they're saying i need more time the four of swords there does seem to be serious concerns in their mind around how this is going to work because logically this person's thoughts is that seeing you is an unreliable truth like there's no promises here um, they don't really know how it's going to work but the feelings are motivating them towards that desire yeah so you know before when i was saying they're confused they're not confused about how they feel about you they're very sure about how they feel they may be a bit hesitant well, they may be a bit unsure about how you feel at this point in time. It tells me that at one point they knew that you had feelings for them. They knew that it was mutual. They just don't know where you stand with each other today. They also are saying that the confusion lies with the external um, things that are impacting this connection. Not so much their feelings, but more what do they do about their feelings? How are they going to get what they want from their feelings, with their feelings, you know? Group one, please, spirit. What else does that person want to tell them? We have this love scares me. So this person has accepted that this is the kind of situation and connection that is going to trigger them, that is going to offer them a lot of thoughts that may be overwhelming at times, but the overall goal and feeling here is for love. So I feel like they have accepted whatever fear was standing in the way previously and causing delay or inaction and they're at a point now where they've um, actually appreciative of what this has awakened within them that is my triggered card the card or an energy of you feeling triggered by somebody else's actions towards you or not towards you you know in a mirroring effect so this person does see similarities in the two of you and they've accepted that this connection is definitely significant we also have reach out over here so there is every indication of this person wanting to connect with you Group one, wanting to really come towards you. Is there anything else you can tell them? What does group one's person want to say? I don't want to lose you. The four of pentacles. This person feels quite attached to you. They feel invested. They feel like they cannot lose you, group one. I'm just going to quickly get you some advice. Look at this. There is definitely a separation of cross desires here. The two of cups reversed. They do not feel connected to you in the way that they could be or they once were. What is the advice for group one, please, Spirit? What is the advice for group one? Hello. We have mystery, secrets, and hidden meanings. So I do sense that there is a lot in this connection that is yet to develop materially in the sense of there's a lot of momentum, there's a lot of energy here, there's a lot of wishing um, there is a lot that is yet to come. Mystery is alluding to the fact that intentions have been made. There are things forming as we speak. And if you are very empathetic or um, if you do pick up on these intuitive hits, you may have sensed a change in the energy. Just know that there is more to come here with this person, more to be revealed. There are hidden meanings and secrets 
hiding and uh, in the, what do you call them, woodworks, <laughs> ready to come out. We have remember who you are, return to the roots as well. I feel this card just trying to ground you, sweet pea, and keep you firm in who you are, encouraging you to continue to embody your confident self here. Big Leo energy with the mother of, of wands. We also have Aries and naturally Sagittarius, but the mother of wands makes me think of Leo's confidence, you know, really embodying yourself and embracing your personality and your uniqueness. Um, Spirit just wants you to ground yourself and to be prepared for whatever may come. They also want you to find moments to build on your confidence and self-image, more so in how you allow others to see that as well because it, there is a feeling as though some of you are very confident behind closed doors but when it comes to being around this person or others you struggle to let your true colors shine so that is really the main advice here is working on allowing others to see your beautiful self as well i'm going to take this into the extended now group one in the extended reading, we're going to have a look at what this person's intentions and next actions towards you will be. And I am guessing we're going to need more advice as well. We may get some little um, messages, 18 plus messages as well, if it calls for it. I'm not going to make any promises yet because uh, we just want, <laughs> I don't want to trigger people who are asking about a family or a friend. <laughs> but um if it's helpful, we'll get some 18 plus messages, but the main focus is going to be on your person's next actions and their intentions towards you. If you're interested in the extended, the link is in the description box for your group, or if you wish, you could purchase the whole collection of all four groups. I just want to thank you before you go, wherever you're going, for your wonderful time and your energy. I really appreciate you for being here, group one. It was a pleasure to read for you today. I also want to thank our spiritual team teams, angels, and ancestors for helping me channel these messages and for keeping me safe while doing so. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I hope to connect with you in another video. Bye. Welcome group number two. If you chose this beautiful beach crystal over here, this beach rock, should I say, it seems to be some type of quartz, but I don't really know. So I just call it my beach rock, one of my beach rocks. This is going to be your group, group two. Now we're asking spirit today, what are your person's thoughts and feelings towards you? Let me get rid of my tissue towards this connection. We're going to ask for honest, clear messages. It's been a ride so far in such a good way. I like these readings because I feel like they um, just help lay it all out on the table, you know, separating thoughts and feelings. We're going to be using a new deck of mine. I've had this for like two weeks. I haven't had the chance to use it. So it's called the Law of Polarity. I'm going to have it in the description box if you're interested. I can already tell this is a deck that a lot of people are going to enjoy. Group two, please, spirit. Let's start with thoughts first. How is group two's person thinking about them and their connection? How is group two's person? <laughs> We're being shown go faster. <laughs> okay. How is group two's person thinking about them and their connection, spirit? How is group two's person thinking? We have, I'm facing my fears. Sorry, I wanted to say it like that. <laughs> oh, you guys have a different energy. You have a completely different energy. We have demolish. Okay, I see that in a positive way. I want to get at least one more quad. Group two, how is their person thinking about them and their connection? We have summer, store. This card's been coming out a lot for me lately. I've only had this deck new. But every time I've had it or shuffled it, that card has come out for me. Your bottom deck energy is sweet dream. So far, we're going to be getting more, <laughs> more messages very soon. But I can tell you that their thoughts of you are very action-orientated sweets. Either this person is mostly thinking about how to work up the courage to get to where they want to be with you, or they're mostly just thinking about how much they want this connection to really just move 
as quickly as possible towards the direction that they want. This person does seem to acknowledge obstacles in your connection with Demolish here. They need to get rid of those obstacles in order to get closer to you. But I want you to know that this person's thoughts of you are very positive. They think of you in a very optimistic way. Um, they're thinking of you as like, how can I make this go quicker? How can I, how can I, in the sense of how can I get what I want faster? How can I go quicker towards this person? I'm trying to face my fears or I am facing my fears not even trying this person is facing their fears in order to get to you they're thinking of how to break a barrier though that seems to be between the two of you this barrier could be as simple as like how do I say hello to them for the first time how do I get in contact with them how do I get back into their inner circle how do I get them alone maybe let's see what tarot has to say when it comes to that but I want you to know so far what I'm seeing is that their thoughts of you are positive. They seem to put a lot of pressure on themselves. Their thoughts of you are, are very critical in terms of like, I need to do this. I need to do that. I need to make sure I do this. And they seem to be in a very action orientated way of thinking. Um, this person, I wouldn't be surprised to let's have a look at their feelings as well, but they seem to be really wanting to take action here and they're trying to think about how to do that. In terms of I'm facing my fears, that insinuates courage, um, needing to overcome their fears, needing to work through them potentially, needing to really address this connection head on. It's quite beautiful. <laughs> it's quite lovely. Let's see what else we get for you, shall we? Group two, please, spirit. How is group two's person thinking about them? Oops, look at this. How is group two's person thinking about them, spirit? What are group two's thoughts towards this person? What is this person's thoughts towards group two and this connection, spirit? We have the chariot. Do you want to be upright or reversed? We want to be upright, but we are being acknowledged as a blockage. This person wants things to go faster, um, but they do have concerns about that. They still feel blocked in some way. Group two, please, spirit. What's going on here? We have the seven of pentacles. Yeah, there's that blockage. Things are slowing down and they don't like that. They don't like that they're losing momentum with you. They want things to go faster. Group two. What is this person's thoughts of group two, spirit? Hello. We have the eight of pentacles. Do you want to be upright or reversed? Choose yourself. We want to be upright. We're trying to get to this moment where we have invested, where we feel safe, where we feel secure in this connection. We have equal give and take. We feel as though this connection is leading somewhere. Um, but at this point in time, we're feeling very impatient. We're feeling like we've got to wait. We're feeling like we have to work with some sort of boundary. And this boundary is causing a lot of frustration on your person's end. What is this person thinking about when it comes to group two? Stop. That's beautiful. We have the two of cups group two. I've been hanging out with my younger siblings too much, so I'm starting to talk like them. But <laughs> we have the two of cups here. Your bottom deck energy is the six of cups reverse. So this person is like really just trying sweets. Literally, look at you, sweet dream. You, yeah, you make them feel so happy. They're so ready. They want a new chapter with you. They feel a very strong connection to you. They feel like the two of you could be best friends. They feel like they can fix it. It's not too complicated to fix. They feel like you've brought them closer to themselves and their connection with Source. They are hiding their feelings. Okay, we can't get to feelings yet. You want to talk about feelings? We'll get there next. <laughs> I got to pack this up. <laughs> We're not at feelings yet. Slow your roll. Look at this person trying to rush ahead. <laughs> um, so, ooh, me now rushing ahead. The six of cups reversed is this feeling of needing to, I'm hearing make up for lost time. This person feels like they share a very intimate connection with you. They think about the memories, okay? Every single time that they've seen you seems to be replaying on their mind. They think about the way that you make them feel, which we look at them trying to jump ahead again. We're not talking about feelings yet, but they do think about the way that you make them feel. They think about moving towards you. They think about having to wait and how frustrating that is because it's causing fears and anxieties to come to light. 
They also think that you are worth waiting for, though. They think that they need to put more effort towards you in this connection. They need to get rid of a barrier and just start investing more effort here. They think that the two of you would be very suited partners. They think that you share enough interests um, in order to be compatible. They feel that at the very least, y'all could be the bestest of friends. Um, but at the very most, they want a very intimate soul connection with you in the sense of they want to know what you want, what your intimate thoughts and feelings are. They want to have a deep and meaningful conversation with you as well. They think about opening up to you, sweets. They think about having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with you. And they do think about telling you the truth of their feelings because up until this point, they're indicating that their feelings have been somewhat held back. Um, whether this person is an active part of your life, because that's the thing about your group, group two. Unlike group one, it feels like this person does get to see you, and it feels like this person is still a part of your present. The thing is, they're not really taking advantage of those present moments to be more active. They need to put more effort in um, in order to be where they want to be with you. It's like the universe has given them chances but these chances haven't really amounted to much yet. And so now this person is kind of like, I have to face my fears. I have to demolish this waiting period and I have to start building where I want to, um, which is very interesting to me. It's not the <laughs> message that I was expecting to get, but it's very interesting. So I do sense that this person is wanting your connection to move forward, to move faster. <laughs> And they do see you as a sweet dream. I'm getting that this person does also dream of you, sweets. Um, yeah, well, they try to. They try to. Maybe you're the last thing that's on their mind before they go to bed. Um, they try to just have as much of you in their mind as they can. You're almost like a beautiful, sweet um, thought in their mind compared to what else is going on in their life. So... Let's have a look at their feelings, shall we? Because I'm feeling pressure from them to get to that point. So I feel like we have to move forward. I feel like we need to start looking at their feelings <laughs> and make sure that um, we're, not, we're not just yeah dwelling too much on the past. This person's really keen to move your connection forward. I'm getting a lot of pressure to move this connection forward. <laughs> Group two, please, spirit. Um, what does their person feel for group two? How does this person feel about group two? Okay, we have, uh, you feel so far away. This person wants to be closer to you. This card came out like this. It went, Bloop. so it's like, we're close, but I want to be closer. You feel so far away. So I feel like this person is almost like a secret admirer, sweets. Listen, only take it if it resonates, but this is the image that I'm seeing. It's like you're over here shopping in aisle two for toilet paper, and this person's buying milk, and like, oh, I see her every Wednesday. I see him every Tuesday. I see this person every Thursday. They're always right in front of me, and I still haven't been able to go over to them and tell them that I want to see them, you know, like, that's what it feels like, it feels like this person has had opportunities around you to kind of instigate something, but they haven't yet, so close yet so far kind of feeling, how does this person feel about group two spirit, <laughs> how does this stop, I'm actually blushing now, <laughs> if you follow me for a while, you know that it only happens when it's something to do with this person. I feel like you make them blush. I don't blush. I get nervous. Don't get me wrong. I just realized this recently. Certain people do make me nervous, but I don't usually blush. And this person is making me blush, y'all. I feel like I have Al Alvin and the Chipmunks cheeks right now. <laughs> like, oh my God. Group two. Maybe that's how you make them feel. How does group two make this person feel, spirit? How does group two make this person feel? The moon. Deep, deep feelings, sweets. Deep feelings, hidden feelings, heavy subconscious feelings. A lot that has not been revealed. Even if you think that you know how this person feels, there's a lot more going on under the surface. This person has a lot that they have not expressed to you. I need validation from others. Yeah, this person is almost just wanting to be seen by you is what I'm getting. 
I wouldn't be surprised if that is a wound and maybe they don't like that. So it's caused delays in this connection because they're starting to feel like, oh, I'm just craving this person and that can't be good. But I also feel like this person wants to be seen by you. I need validation from others. It's almost like, please notice me, validate me, <laughs> validate my existence, look my way. You feel so far away, but you're so close. I have so many deep feelings for you, but I hide them and mask them instead. How does this person feel about group two? We have teacher. Oh my days. We're going to have to clarify that because like what? How does this person feel about group two with this teacher card? Drunk. Oh wow. Yeah, it feels like they've learned some things along the way here about their behavior, about their the way that you make them feel. This person's made some mistakes. They haven't handled themselves in the best way and they've learned from that. Um, it could be as bad as maybe y'all were around each other and drunk, but I don't think so. It's more so making me think that this person has felt in like they were in kind of like a, an inebriated state around you and that they accidentally did things that they didn't mean to. Like maybe they ran the other way when actually all they wanted to do was get close to you. Maybe they shut down the conversation when all they wanted to do was ask you for your phone number and what you're doing on Saturday night. You know, it's like this person, <laughs> this person is fumbling um, and bumbling <laughs> in like an inebriated state. I also think with teacher here that they have learned a lot from you and this connection already. I'm getting a teacher student vibe here though. So they feel like, are they feeling like a teacher spirit or do they feel that group two is their teacher? There might be an age difference here. That could be what it is. Um, there is a feeling as though they need to kind of assert themselves over this connection. So they may have felt like if you are older than them, that you had the upper hand, whereas they traditionally are usually the person that does have the upper hand. So it's like they have to kind of get back into that mentality and get back into their comfort zone of being the more dominant energy in a connection. Um, but they certainly feel like they've been put in their place. Like it's making me see them as sitting in like a chair and you're like teaching to them. So, <laughs> I don't think this person comfortable because I'm just seeing this like huge adult sitting in like this tiny primary school chair. I guess you guys call it elementary school wherever you are, but, or what is it? Preparatory? No, I don't know. But we call it primary school in Australia if you're like, um, young like your younger years in schooling is there anything else they want to say about their feelings to group two divine masculine i knew it they're the more dominant energy in the ter in terms of they're the assertive energy they're the one who takes action they're the one that takes risks the one that usually steps forward and and makes that initiative so they feel like they need to balance this out now and get things back to where they need to be. I want you now. Oh, gosh. You've put them in their feels. They're not used to that. They feel like drunk on your love sweets. Let's get some tarot out here as well. How does group two's person feel about them? How does group two's person feel about them? <laughs> How does group two's person stop? I'm blushing again. I need to <laughs> calm down. Where's my calming crystal? Here we go. Oh, gosh, my heart. You give them all types of feelings. It's like butterflies, but also like my chest is going to explode. <sighs> yeah, here we go. This is what I was feeling. <laughs> the nine of wands reversed with... The Eight of Wands upright. You know how intense that is? Knight of Wands reversed. It's like I'm having mad anxiety. I'm having a lot of concerns. I'm getting a real pressure to do something, but I'm also struggling to do something. And with the Eight of Wands, it's like, how do I do this? I want to move forward, but I don't want to make the wrong decision or I don't want to make the wrong move. How do I do this? They feel like they need to move this connection forward. They feel pressure to change their strategy because whatever they've been doing thus far has not been working. This person feels like they need to let their guard down with you as well, make themselves more accessible. They feel like they need to really watch for their time. So I wouldn't be surprised if you notice this person like studying you or trying to figure out how to um, get closer to you, especially if you share 
of space, you know, if you're sharing a space together, this person will be looking over at you like, is now a good time to talk to them? <laughs> are, they, are they finished selecting their milk? <laughs> Have they grabbed their cereal? I need to talk to them. <laughs> How does this person feel about group two, Spirit? Wow, stop. This is beautiful. They feel like they need to take action ASAP because you are a steel, sweet pea. Whether you see yourself as a divine feminine or not, this person does see you as a abundant, prosperous, flourishing, nourishing person. You are their divine feminine in their eyes. You are someone who enriches their life in the sense of you have your own status or your own wealth, your own abundance, whether you are wealthy by way of family, maybe you have your own children here with the Empress, whether you are wealthy by having your own career, you know, maybe you have your own sort of money, money saved up in your little corner, maybe you have both, maybe you have family and career, they see you as very put together here, you are very abundant in their eyes, you're a steel, and you are someone who has the attention of others as well, which is why you've put them straight into their deep feelings because they're starting to feel pressured to take action before others do others keeps coming up so i don't know if this is a genuine threat or if this is just this person's insecurities but there does seem to be this pressure of needing to take their queen before somebody else does and i'm using these terms to define the energy not the genders okay y'all so when i'm talking about a divine masculine divine feminine a queen and a king in tarot it's more the energies that these titles embody you have this very regal energy about you and it seems to be that you can hold your own, um, but this person also wants to be at your side, like as your counterpart. That's what it feels like. This is beautiful, group two. Thank you for gracing my energy with your beautiful presence. Group two, please spirit. What else does that person feel about them? What else does this person feel about group two or towards group two? There we go, oh my gosh. We have the High Priestess reversed. Those are those secrets. So we'll see what the channeled messages has to say. I need validation from others. This person does feel insecure. Um, there's a card on the ground. Excuse me. Hey. <laughs> there's a card on the ground. Let me let me show you real quick. Oh, it's the Four of Pentacles. They are trying to get out of their comfort zone. This person has hit a wall internally. There is an insecurity here between the two of you um it's not that big though like in the sense of you triggered them in some way but they have worked through that trigger excuse me i just bumped my table and it's annoying me there we go but they're working through it they're at a point now where they feel okay i know what that is now and maybe i need to be more aware of that moving forward this person may feel insecure about what they have to bring to the table Especially, I'm expecting a delivery today, but it's not here yet. It's just Kirk acting up. Um, especially if you do have your own little queendom going on, you know, like your little empire here, your little, <laughs> when it's an empire of a little. But um, they, there is this feeling of insecurity over status or over some sort of comfort zone that they have, some sort of wall that they need to demolish. They need to get rid of this insecurity and they're working on it. You do make them question themselves and how they see themselves. And for the most part, it's actually a positive question because I'm just seeing that this person may have gotten really comfortable and your presence has sort of pushed them out of that comfort zone and made them really question themselves to the point where why did this person make you feel that way and it's helping them sort of grow in a helpful way i want to say that this person will talk to you about this eventually um, especially if all goes according to plan here um, they will want to share this with you because you've really been a helpful addition to their life you've helped them face something that they had been suppressing here with the high priestess a truth that they'd kept locked up maybe this person was always blaming other people for how you know situationships fell apart and then with you 
they realized, oh my gosh, it's me. Like I'm not giving enough. I'm the one who's not putting out honest intentions and actions. Or maybe it was more of like this person never thought they could go for someone like you. And they've realized, oh my gosh, it's me. Like I'm limiting myself with my own beliefs and my self thought. So whatever it is, they do want to talk to you about it eventually. This is a secret that they need to let out as well, a bottled up secret. Can we get one more card? How does group two's person feel about them, spirit? Ten of swords, yeah. And that's that teacher energy with the drunk. They have made mistakes. They've betrayed themselves. <laughs> They've sabotaged this connection and they feel like they have betrayed you because they may have been just waiting for something to happen and it didn't when really like not much was invested in the first place. I want you to know that their feelings are at a point where like the cycle needs to end. Like they've they've let them sort of marinate into pain. It feels like this person is trying to put an end to their thoughts and they're trying to actually take action towards how they feel. I want to say that this person's feelings for you can be very intense at times. Um, with the Ten of Swords here, if you don't know this person very well, just know that their feelings are very big for you already and it's something that has caused them concern. It's made them question their way of of feeling because they, they logically it doesn't make sense with the ten of swords they're kind of like that why do i feel this way about this person um that doesn't make sense like we don't even know each other that well or they're my teacher i mean listen i hope not but that could be a situation for some of you um, i really hope not but there just seems to be that this person has regretted the way that they've acted towards this connection in the past, felt inebriated by their attraction to you, and did things that were sabotaging and self-sabotaging. Bottom deck energy is the Eight of Swords. Yeah, they feel trapped by their feelings. They feel hopeless and helpless in their feelings for you. They feel like they're just this sort of victim, um, and they're trying to switch that mentality because they're not in, in any other situation. They're this go-getter, action hero kind of person. But when it comes to you, you make them feel weak, sweets. So let's get some channel message outs for group two, please, spirit. What does this person want to say to group two? Because I feel like they have a lot to tell you. While they also have this main message to kind of get to, this moving forward situation, I feel like they have a lot they want to tell you in general. Group two, what does this person want to say to group two, spirit? If I asked you to stay, would you leave? Have I missed my boat? Is my ticket still valid? Can I still ask you out? Can I still have this opportunity with you? It's like they're sitting there and they're waiting and they're like, oh no, did I miss did I miss my moment? Like, has my moment passed? Four of cups, have I missed out? I've been waiting, did I miss out? Group two. What does this person want to say to group two? I never imagined so much perfection. You are a steal in their eyes, sweets. You tick all the boxes, group two. You tick all the boxes. They see you as a very secure, independent, self-sufficient, prosperous person. You seem to have your own little thing going on and they love it. You just seem to be in your own little world as well when this person sees you. We also have You Matter. I feel like this person hasn't really shown you that though. I feel like there's a lot of insecurities on their side that they've been working through, um, which has reflected in them maybe needing to distance how much validation they get from you. This person may have found themselves really relying on your um, attention to kind of make them feel good about themselves. And then they may have gone really cold because they were like, wait a minute, I'm being very reliant on this person for their validation. Group two, what does this person want to say to group two, Spirit? What does this person want to say to group two? Hello. We have, I lie awake thinking about our future. I don't want to think anymore. I want to take action. I don't want to just lie on my back and let time roll by like a dune, a changing dune. This person feels like they're in a desert when it comes to you, group two. They want that sustenance. They want that empress sweet, sweet honey nectar. <laughs> Stop. Where did the honey ne nectar come from? On the Empress cards, you'll notice most of the de in most of the decks, there's like a stream in the background to like represent her fertility. <laughs> but apparently, there's honey and nectar there too. <laughs> group, 
Two. Oh, this is so good. Group two. What does this person want to say to group two, Spirit? What does this person want to say? Wow. They have, they they don't just want it to be about that, but listen, they've thought about that. If y'all haven't hooked up yet, this person has thought about it. This person wants to tell you that they don't just want sex, though. They don't just want a physical connection. Like, they want this. They want that. They want friendship. They want union. They want this togetherness energy. Um, it's not just about sex. Group two. What does this person want to say to group two? I am... I'm in so much pain. I'm in so, so, so much pain. Um, I dream about you a lot too much. I'm not confused anymore. I know how I feel. I don't need more time. I feel like I've wasted both of our times. And I'm so frustrated with how things are slowing down. I want more momentum. I do imagine you naked, but I want to see you naked. <laughs> I don't want to imagine this anymore. I want it to happen. I meant what I said. Yeah, this person is moving things forward. They're going to take decisive action next, changing things up. If This is applicable only if you haven't had a lot going on lately. Um, you can expect some change happening very, very soon. Let's get some channeled, excuse me, some advice for you. Some channeled messages from Spirit. <laughs> Spirit, what advice do you have for group two in this situation? What advice do you have for group two? One more quad. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. We have fire, transformation, rebirth, renewal. Your advice is to let it happen. I do very clearly see an, a do over here, um, mostly because if you believe it or not, this person has already tried, <laughs> okay? As, as abysmal or minuscule as it may have looked, this person did try and they were not successful in their attempt. So I do see a rebirth, a renewal, and a transformation here. So it's saying let it happen, embrace this fire quality, in in the sense of fire it has the opportunity to purge as well as prepare the soil for new growth. So it might have seemed like things were fizzling out because of wildfire was raging, but really I see that the ground was being prepped for a rebirth here, um, a renewal. We can also see guidance here. You are divinely guided. So spirit has your back in the situation, group two. Your advice is to let the situation unfold. Your advice is to trust yourself. And if you get very stuck, ask for signs. Ask for signs from the universe. Universe, is this the person that you were talking about, spirit? Can you please show me a sign that this is what is meant to happen? Can you please confirm to me that it is safe for me to open myself up to this person? Is this really the person that's going to honor my feelings and respect me and protect me and cherish me? Show me a sign. You are being divinely guided, so connect with your spiritual team. Connect with them and talk with them. Make sure you're getting that that open communication with your spiritual team, group two. That's what I'm seeing for you, group two. I'm going to take this into the extended now where we will be looking at this person's next intentions and actions towards you, what will happen next time they see you. Um, we may be getting some more... Um, I think for you guys, we will get some 18 plus messages. I was only going to do it if it was helpful, but I will do it for you. And we'll also be getting some advice as well. So if you're keen to join me in the extended, the link is in the description box. I shall see you there. Before you go, I do want to thank you for all of your time, for all of your energy. I really appreciate this energy exchange. Thank you so much for being here and supporting me. I also want to thank our spiritual teams, angels and ancestors for helping me channel these messages and for keeping me safe while doing so thank you thank you thank you thank you and i hope to connect with you very very soon bye hi group three and welcome if you chose the red carnelian crystal then this is going to be your reading we're asking spirit today how is your person thinking and feeling about you we're going to be getting a lot of messages, a lot of truthful, honest, straight to the point messages and some advice as well. So let's get straight into it, shall we? I'll be using a new deck today. This beautiful deck. I haven't used it yet, but I've had it for the last two weeks. I just didn't have the time to get it 
ready to use. So it's been absorbing my energy for the last two weeks and it's been such a pleasure to work with already. I have a feeling that it's going to be a deck that the community will love a lot. So let's get into it. This is the Law of Polarity Oracle deck by Ruby Roman. Um, information is in the description box as well. Group three, please spirit. How is their person thinking about them and their connection? Ooh, we have solid foundation. How is their person thinking and feeling about them? We also have winter. Wow, this card's been coming out a lot lately. How is group three's person thinking about them? We have my heart is full of hope. How is that person? We have you make me feel alive. No. Bottom deck energy is the sun. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I am getting that this person may be withdrawn currently, okay? Only take it if it resonates. But I feel like they've been craving some time to think and to um, just reflect on what they truly want. When it comes to their thoughts of this connection, they are thinking about a solid foundation here, which in turn means for me, either a solid commitment or just sort of how stable your connection already is. This doesn't technically have to be a lover. We could be asking about a friend or a family member, but I do feel like this person sees you as someone that they want in their life for the rest of their life, group three. You seem to be someone that is very dependable and someone that they want to continue to build with. There just seems to be a period here of freezing with the winter. Maybe it's been a long time since you've seen this person or it's been a while since you were able to really connect with them openly and authentically. They feel like your connection can withstand a winter though, you know, like you're, you're seasonal in that way, like it's not just going to die out. Um, you will always be able to come back and regrow together. So this person certainly feels, sorry, I'm just expecting a package today. I was just looking. Um, this person certainly feels like things with you are thawing out with the sun here. It's like this feeling as though warmth is going to be coming back in. There may be opportunity to see this person again very soon. It may be an opportunity to really connect with them. Um, so I almost have like a celebration or a reunion of some sorts. They're thinking about when they'll be able to see you next though, that's for sure. And I also feel with my heart is full of hope that this person is, it's a thought that gets them through their difficult times. Let's just say that this person sees you as a beautiful sun. Um, you bring warmth, you bring hope, you bring optimism, you bring joy. You're something to look forward to at the end of the tunnel. So this person may have been through some dark times recently with winter here and they're needing to thaw out and get some sunlight back into their life. You really do help them feel alive though. You bring them such warm joyous feelings. I think that with this card, this person also just feels like this connection um, needs more of this in it. You know, maybe they want to make more special memories with you, especially if you are in union with this person. It just feels like they want to create more special memories with you, more intimate moments with you, more chances to kind of, yeah, spend time together and also have things to look back on, if that makes sense. Let's see what Tarot can tell us as well for group three, please, Spirit. Yeah, I really feel like they want to build something more with you um, because for some of you, you are in union with this person. They want to build something more with you. Group three, what is this person thinking about when it comes to group three, Spirit? What is this person thinking about? Oh, gosh, I'm going to shuffle that back in. It came out in a weird way. There we go. We have the Father of Wands coming out. We also have the Two of Cups coming out. Yeah, they're thinking about the separation. You guys need more special time together. You need more time together. They're thinking about building something with you. They want to create something with you. Could be a child for some of you, okay? <laughs> Take it if it resonates. Group three, what is this person thinking about when it comes to group three? 
we also have a few cards. We have the Two of Swords reversed, showing me the Five of Cups as well, and the Ten of Swords reversed. Yeah, this person, I feel like they've really been through something, you guys. Look at the sun coming out at the bottom of the deck again, the sun, the sun. They've been through something recently, and it's been difficult to say the least. This person feels as though with your connection, you bring them light, you bring them that light at the end of the tunnel. But I want to say that this person has not been well. Um, something here has really impacted their moods and made them feel very down. And it's made them feel at times like, you know, when is it going to get better? They felt very disappointed in the very least. At the very most, they may have experienced a loss um, but it really feels like this person was just looking for, you know, something to keep them through this. And that was you, sweets. Thoughts of you got them through this dark period. This person feels that there is a way forward for themselves and for your connection. They see your connection getting stronger because of this. Um, you helped show them kind of a side to them that they didn't see before. They would have assumed it was a more vulnerable side in earlier days, but now they see it as like, I'm, I'm strong and I'm capable and I'm someone who, you know, when I break down, I've got a strong person next to me to help build me back up again. And I see that this person is just wanting to kind of really, or thinking about how the two of you, as different as you are, you're very similar in that way. Um, this person really thinks about your differences because they think that it's your differences that helped them through this. I also feel like there are cross desires at the moment. There may be a feeling of guilt here or like betrayal because like on one hand, there's them struggling with their moods and their thoughts. And then they see you as this beautiful, bright sun. And it's just this sort of guilty feeling of like, how do I deserve this? And, and how can I do this to them? They feel guilty for almost like being a burden to you sometimes. I want to say that this person, when it comes to you and your connection, they're, they're constantly thinking of like new ways for your connection to move forward. This person is hoping to be able to like do stuff with you soon. I just think with the two of swords reversed, it's almost like they're anticipating the opportunity to talk to you and to get this connection moving in a new direction, um, to maybe get some things off their chest and to talk to you about some secrets that they've been holding, some thoughts. It's not that they're secret sweets, it's more that they're thoughts that they haven't shared with you yet. And I want to say with the Five of Cups upright, however low this mood has been, however sad or disappointed they've been, um, they are getting through this and they're working through it at their own healthy pace. They're going to get through this. Um, I feel like this is very much to do with an external issue that's not linked to the connection. It's more about them just needing to get over their disappointment um, and getting over whatever this is naturally, not forcing it to end, not forcing those negative feelings out, but just letting them be and letting those feelings come and go naturally. I want to say that this person looks like, yeah, it's you that really got them through this. Thoughts of you help them see the light at the end of the tunnel, but they do feel like a burden sometimes and they feel like they're um, bringing a heavy energy to this connection. They think about you a lot, sweets, a lot, a lot. Like you're literally the light at the end of the tunnel. So whenever they just need something like a helpful distraction or something positive to think about, you come into their mind and help them think of that. Please ignore Kirk. He's being very, very needy. It's ridiculous. It's exhausting, to be honest with you. Oh, group three, please, spirit. Group three. How is this person feeling about group three? How is this person feeling about group three, spirit? Oh, hang on a second. Which one am I taking? You know what? I'm sorry. I got to shuffle them back in. How is this person feeling about group three, spirit? How is this person feeling about group three? Up or down? Okay. <laughs> I don't care what they think. Wow. 
don't care what they think. The bottom of that card says, I worry about what they think. So that's interesting. Group three, how is this person feeling about group three? Not tonight, honey. We also have, I didn't believe in love until now. How does this person feel about group three, Spirit? Oh, wow. They feel a little bit jealous, but they trust you. And they're also showing me divine feminine. So the card that kind of flipped itself over and then went back into the deck was, I'm a little bit jealous, but I trust you. And then we have divine feminine. So sweets, there could be an interference here in your connection. I was kind of picking up on like something going on here. This interference could be as simple as, you know, whatever they're going through with their low moods, or it could be an external party. If you know that there is a third party, take that as confirmation that you picked the right group. If you don't know, then just know that this person is going through something else that is impacting their moods. Excuse me. Oh no. I keep hearing things. And then with Kurt going, it's like, is there someone here? So I apologize. Um, their feelings for you reflect someone who is not exactly emotionally ready for what their intentions are, if that makes sense. But I won't go into their intentions too much because we're talking about that in the extended. Their feelings for you reflect someone that wants something but they can't technically have it yet. And I think that's because they are prioritizing this cycle of emotional pain, whatever this is, they're prioritizing getting through that before they come fully ready into where you are in this connection. They want to make sure that they're not bringing that heaviness and transferring it into this connection. There is a feeling as though this person may have to be like secretive over their feelings or careful um, or they may have been in the past, but I, I, I feel like they just, they're not really wanting that anymore. This person does want to be open. I don't care what they think. It makes me think that they were trying to please people before or were trying to be careful about people before. And maybe this could have been their own children. Maybe this could have been parents, with friends, whatever. Um, expectations that they put on themselves that from the voice of an older sibling maybe or I'm not too sure but it just feels like this person is like you know what I don't care anymore like I'm allowed to be this version of myself it's not weakness it's not like a sign of um, being less than what I am especially if this is a more masculine person it's like they don't want to see their feelings as things that can tear them down and make them appear weak they're trying to look at their feelings as like this is who I am I don't care what other people think like I just need to get through this and this is how I am right now um, they are highlighting this separation again they're feeling it and I want to say that they kind of need it as well, because for them to say not tonight, honey, instead of like, I miss you, it means that they actually need to be emotionally distant right now. They need to work through their own emotions. Their feelings are unavailable towards you to a certain extent at this point in time, because they are prioritizing some sort of change here and getting through that feeling of loss and disappointment. They are hopeful about what the future holds. In fact, they really assume that there is a future here. They believe that there is going to be a future here. They feel that there is love here, group three. There's potential for a deep connection here. And they hope that when you do come together again with your celebration or whatever this reunion is, that they can have that intimate emotional connection with you that they know the two of you are capable of giving each other. They really feel like you are a counterpart or someone very significant in their lives. They see you as a divine feminine. So they feel that you are a very caring, um, kind, giving, intuitive, powerful person. You are someone who seems to be very in tune with them and you seem to be very in tune with yourself as well. They see you as a very gracious, giving person, but you also have your own boundaries and you have the ability to stand in your own power and let things happen as they are intended to. They, If you don't see this, this is how they see you, sweets. They see you as someone who 
goes with the flow and lets things unfold as nature intended. And that's helped them get through this period as well because they've had to surrender some things that they couldn't control either. I do firmly believe that this person is healing and I think that they are emotionally unavailable and not as available as they want to be in this connection. Um, but I also think that it's helping them gain courage and sort of take on a newfound sense of strength that they perceived as a weakness previously. So interesting. I want to get some tarot now. Group three, please, spirit. How is this person feeling about group three? So it's like their thoughts of you are positive, but their feelings are very like disconnected. And it's mostly because this person does use you as a helpful distraction from their pain as well. So positive thoughts of you are always on their mind, but it's their emotions that are not measuring up right now. Group three, how does this person feel about group three spirit? We have the seven of cups. Yeah, there is confusion here. I was seeing that with these message cards as well. Group three, how does this person feel about group three? We have the page of swords. Yeah, curious about what the future holds with the two of you. Selfish, yeah, unrequited. They feel emotionally unavailable at the moment. Group three, how does this person feel about group three spirit? We have the three of pentacles. Okay, you may share a workplace or something with this person but there's a main message to that that i'll get into later group three how does this person feel about group three spirit we also have the ten of swords reversed again look at that twice in two different decks bottom deck energy is the seven of pentacles in the reverse interesting i'm just gonna have a quick sip of water because this person is and Kirk, it's mostly Kirk, but this person is a little bit um, energetically draining. It's mostly Kirk though, he's so exhausted. Okay, let's have a look here. Group three. Hmm. I wanna be careful about what I say here because this, where their feelings are at at the time that you're seeing this reading is not a true reflection of this person's intentions nor their long-term efforts towards you. This person desires more than what they can currently give you, but I feel I need to be honest about their feelings now because you have been intuitively picking up on this change. So it's important that you understand that there has been an energetic change in where this person is at. Emotionally, this person is feeling very frustrated about this situation. They feel like they are unable to give right now. They feel that they have to sit on what they have invested towards you, even though it is not enough. They do intend on giving more. But at this point in time, there is efforts and um, time is, is focused elsewhere. It feels like this person is seeking you and this connection as an instantly gratifying thing, something that boosts their mood right now, but they're not looking at making long-term contributions yet. I see that this person is feeling very confused because they're gaining a lot of courage and connection to their inner divine feminine because we do possess both qualities within us. This is someone who is being forced to kind of slow down and be more passive and really just let the situation happen as it is intended to. And it is causing um, disturbances in how they feel for you and for their situation in general. They don't really care about what other people think anymore. If that was an issue in the past, they're just very focused on finding clarity for themselves and following what their heart wants. But they need to take time to figure out what that is because they are still getting over a challenging emotional situation. I can see with the Page of Swords that this person's feelings for you are growing curiously. They take a very logical turn here with the page of swords this person is very curious about what the future holds for you but they are definitely not able to be consistent with what they give to you this person has considered sharing feelings with you and opening up to you they may really value your conversation okay if you are texting or messaging this person they really appreciate those check-ins they really appreciate whatever time you can offer them. But I do feel with the Page of Swords that communication is inconsistent with this person or at least not as deep as they want it to be. This person is intending for really deep 
connection and um, well they, they, they do see that there's potential there for that but it kind of feels like emotionally they're just kind of flitting in and out of the conversation like this page of swords here not really able to talk about their feelings to you the three of pentacles tells me that this person wants more of your time but they feel that they need to spend time with you in like a group setting. It's like they need to do something in order to spend time with you. The other reason why the Three of Pentacles is here is because they do admire you and they find that their feelings for you seem to be linked to like something that you're good at. Like they uh, developed feelings for you by admiring something that you're good at and they really appreciate like looking at this and thinking of you, if that makes sense. Maybe you gave them something for some of them. For some of you, you may have gifted this person something and every time they see it, it reminds them of you. I also think that this person may have shared people with you, like maybe shared friends, shared colleagues, whatever it is. Um, it does also make them think of you as well. And they always feel like there could be more collaborated effort here like you both need to give more to this connection in order for it to work at the very least sweets this person does feel that you're a very good friend and they feel that the two of you work well together i see that for many of you this is a friendship situation or this is something that has never really gotten past the friend situation um, but I, I do firmly still believe that others of you are in union with this person and you're just going through a difficult time at this moment in time sorry that was just my tin roof expanding I thought that was a knock we also have the divine feminine with the ten of swords here and this is where their feelings really just align with their thoughts because this is telling me that they see something very special in you, group three, and that they do intend for this tough cycle to end. Although their emotions are so sort of practical right now and they're really highlighting that they don't have a lot to give, they're also highlighting that um, this difficult cycle with you does have to end. Oh my gosh, I keep thinking I'm hearing things. I feel like I'm crazy. <laughs> um, it does have to end. So I see this person trying to tentatively, you know, think of like ways to get back to where you were before or, or really trying to allow for honest, open communication. Um, but until they can do that authentically, they are being selective over what they say. Their feelings for you is that you are this light at the end of the tunnel suites. You you bring them joy. You bring them something to look forward to. I stand firm in that belief. You are someone who helps them get through these dark moments. You are a positive distraction. Let's get some channeled messages from them now. Group three, please, spirit. What does this person want to say to group three we have think before you act mm. this person has been overthinking their actions what does this person want to say to group three excuse me oh. okay i think there's someone here now oh no <laughs> that makes sense it was the postman <laughs> um group three um what do they want to say? We have, I sometimes wonder if you care, the death card and the upright. What does this person want to say to group three spirit? I'm open to compromise. The two of cups reversed again. That's twice sweets. What does this person want to say to group three? How will their thoughts differ from their feelings? I didn't mean what I said. Oopsie daisy. Yes, I think so. So they're saying maybe. I'm not sure. I don't really know. I'm, I'm trying. We have the Ten of Cups reversed. Wow, this separation is really un just like oof, hurting this person. Um, bottom deck energy is I'm sorry. So thanks. <laughs> thanks, I guess. What I can tell you, sweets, is that 
this person is really feeling this separation. They are going through an emotional upheaval. Their future looks very different now. They're having to look at this, their life as including the separation between the two of you as where to next. Um, they have positive thoughts of you, but when it comes to their feelings, obviously they're being very careful. And then when it comes to what they want to say to you, they want to tell you that they're overthinking all of their actions. They don't really know if you care anymore and they can understand if you don't because they've had to divert their emotions towards some other transformative process that's currently happening in their lives. They want you to know that they are aware of the separation, that they don't have a lot of emotion to give. Their future looks very different now and they're having to really be selective over what they give when it comes to their love. They're very confused about this connection, um, but they are hopeful that there will be an opportunity in the future to really get the thoughts and the feelings together in terms of to talk about their feelings and to re-instigate feelings for you. But we also have the Five of Swords reversed, so it feels like in the midst of all of this transformation, they may have said or done something to you that they really regret. They wish they didn't say that. They feel it wasn't an honest depiction of what they're going through. And it also was something that was very hurtful. They feel like they could have handled that better and they could have been more communicative or just done something different to really tell you what was actually going on. So they are sorry for that. I see this person wanting to reach out to you. They're very afraid of, again, being a burden in your life. To be honest with you, this person thinks that you can do better. Okay, this person acknowledges that for many of you, your this separation is going to lead you towards other opportunities. And I feel that this person does not want to come to the party, you know, half assed as we say in Australia, in the sense of um, short, you know, like you need this and they come up short. They don't want to do that. They want to make sure their checks and balances are all balanced. Their checks are balanced. <laughs> um, so it does feel like this person's thoughts are positive, but it's just thoughts, you know, when it comes to their words and their feelings. I think that there is a lot that they need to explain to you. And I have a feeling that this person has been taking their sweet time, letting life happen for them because to be honest with you they can't really control what has happened in this situation they have to just deal with this emotional change then they have to try to overcome it in the most um, helpful way and unfortunately even though that does cause you pain they are doing it in the most helpful way it was supposed to happen this way sweets i'm sorry that's not going to be easy for a lot of you to hear but it is the truth so what is the advice for group three spirit What is the advice for group three? We have patience coming out for you. I'm not surprised. Long road ahead, reward awaits. So take that if it resonates. I want you to know that you putting effort towards connections, people, and things that you deserve is always going to be rewarded. You have to um, really take this with a grain of salt because I, I think that waiting is not really what this is about. I think that patience is saying that when it comes to your journey in love and with this person, there is a long road ahead. Rewards will be there eventually, um, but I would never tell you to wait, okay? And I think that patience is just saying that in this case, your advice is that this situation is going to take a long time to play out. You need to know that you could be waiting a long time for positive change here. Group three, please, Spirit. We have dream. Build castles in the sky. So I do think that you do need to reassess maybe what you want and what is going to be able to tick your boxes. And maybe for some of you, you need to set your sights a little bit higher as well because I think that Dream is, is really encouraging you to see life as like a, a abundant, um, opportunist sort of, not opportunist, but plentiful landscape where you can create and build as much as you want. Um, so don't settle here with Dream. Build castles in the sky. Allow your mind to be open. For some of you, you need to go back to your manifestations and let them be 
broad and allow the right people to come in to fulfill those manifestations as well. This is definitely about being prepared for a long journey ahead if you're going to want to stick to this connection while also revisiting your manifestations and understanding how your dreams deserve to be honored. Maybe this is an honoring those dreams as well. I won't technically tell you whether to let go or move forward, but I do think you need to reconnect with your Venusian needs, which is something that's been coming up a lot lately. And if this connection isn't fulfilling those Venusian needs, then I do think it's time to build those castles in the sky and allow the opportunity for someone or something to come in and, and fulfill those needs. I want to show you this as well. Appreciate present blessings. So we are protected from things that aren't meant to be in our life and sometimes that comes out about in ways of rejection this person's emotional distance is a blessing in disguise because like let me tell you they are very draining i feel so <laughs> just like oh, i need to drink the rest of this water and go for a little walk after this in nature um so just know that this is a blessing in disguise this this moment and they are getting through this in the most helpful way as possible Group three, that's what I'm seeing for you. I'm going to take this into the extended now. Sorry, we were just cut off by my alarm. I'm going to take this into the extended now. In the extended reading, we're going to have a look at this person's intentions and actions towards you. We're going to just see what other helpful messages can come through for you. We might get some 18 plus messages if they're helpful. Only if they're helpful though, because for some of you, it may not be helpful. So we'll see. We'll play it by ear. But I do want to get more advice for you in the extended as well on what you should do here. If you'd like to join me over there, the link to the extended reading is in the description box for you. Group three, you could choose to purchase your group or you could choose to purchase your um, the collection. It's up to you. If you have messages in more than one group, the collection may be the way to go. But before you go, I do need to take a quick second to thank you for your time and your energy. I really appreciate you being here. It was an honor to read for you today. And I hope that these messages help to bring clarity, guidance and support to you on your journey. I hope they just confirmed what you had been picking up on too, because it wasn't an easy message to pass on, but I feel like you really needed to know what was going on with them and why there was this sort of disconnect here. So I hope that was helpful. Thank you so much to our spiritual teams, ancestors and guides for helping me channel these messages and for keeping me safe while doing so. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And I shall connect with you very, very soon. Bye! Hi group four and welcome to your reading. Sorry group four, I, I need to calm down and ground myself and be present. I just received very good news which I will be sharing in the intro so I'm still kind of on that high and while my energy is up I thought let's finish this <laughs> reading and do group four's wonderful reading now while I've got all this energy. So group four, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you chose this beautiful piece of coral then this is going to be your reading. I can already feel your energy calming me down. That's lovely. This beautiful piece of coral has been with me only for a few months, um, but it's already a treasured piece of my beach collection on my shelves. So group four, we're going to be asking spirit, how is your person thinking and feeling about you? We're going to be getting some channeled messages and advice as well. And there will also be an extended reading. So let's get straight into the thoughts. We're going to start with this new deck that I received recently called the Law of Polarity. It's an oracle deck by Ruby Roman. Um, information about the deck is in the description box below. I know that the community is going to love this deck. So I kind can't um, wait to show it to you and you'll see why even though it's simple it's something that I think a lot of readers will enjoy having in their readings and a lot of viewers will enjoy having in their readings group four please spirit how is group four's person thinking towards them in this connection what is group four's person thinking about when it comes to group four what is group four's person we have the sun peeking out. That was hesitant though. Did you see that? It nearly got shuffled back in. The sun coming out there. Group four. How is group four feeling? Uh, 
Oh, I said feeling, didn't I? We have, I have the answer coming out for you. How is group four thinking? How's group four's person thinking, spirit? We have acceptance coming out. How is group four's person thinking about them and this connection? Oh, okay, so that's cute. We have, I love thinking of you. Beautiful. We also have another card. Don't tell the other groups. They only got four. We have, I hear you. So straight off the cuff, group four, I can tell that your person has received clarity when it comes to your connection. They're feeling very confident about this connection. They feel like they know where they stand with you. They know where their thoughts are in terms of this person thinks very highly of you, very positive. There is love in this connection. Um, for some of you, this is friendship though, or family, but there's definitely that kind of bond in the sense of there's acceptance here, right? Those sorts of connections in terms of friendship and family insinuate sort of an unconditional element. So I feel like this person is feeling very unconditional towards you and the thoughts towards you seem to be that they would accept you regardless of your flaws or your lesser qualities. Um, I also think that this person really does enjoy thinking about you and that they spend a lot of their time getting lost in their mind about you. There's a warmth when it comes to you. There's an obviousness to this as well. Like they're saying, you know how I think. <laughs> you know that I think about you because I think here with this I hear you, the two of you do share um, some sort of connection here that feels almost telepathic. I know a lot of readers have been getting that lately and I didn't think I was going to get it in my readings, but here we go. I hear you. They feel like they share a telepathic bond with you. They feel like they can really connect with you here. So I feel that there's an insane um, bond between the two of you. And I feel like this person, it, I mean, they're telling me it should be surprising for you to question their thoughts of you. They're very... Um, clear thoughts of you. They know how they feel. They feel nothing but optimism and, and joy and a level of love here. Um, they feel like they have accepted the truth in your connection. They have accepted whatever has happened between you in the past as well as the present circumstances of your connection. This person is thinking positively about your connection right now and I'm also feeling that they think positively when it comes to the future. And they use your thoughts as a way of um, kind of indulging themselves over here. I love thinking of you, right? Indulgent sort of vibes here. And your bottom deck energy is I love being with you. So excuse me, group number four. Y'all got the whole damn cake. <laughs> Everybody who's out here getting pieces, you've got the whole cake. Let's get some tarot out, shall we? And we'll finish painting this picture. Group four, please, spirit. How does group four's person think of them? What does group four's person think of them? Group four, please, spirit. What does group four's person... Oh my gosh. Excuse me. What does group four's person... Excuse me. What does group four's person think of them? Group four, please, spirit. Thank you. We have the two of pentacles coming out in the reverse. What does group four's person think of them? Group four, please, spirit. We have the emperor. Emperor was coming out a bit wonky-dory too. I think it's a mixture of my energy as well, though. <laughs> I'm feeling a bit glonky at the moment. <laughs> Group four, what does their person think of them? We have the Father of Pentacles. Wow, there's that acceptance. Father of Pentacles. What does group four's person think of them, spirit? Group four. We have the Mother of Wands. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Mother of Wands. One more card, seeing as you got an extra one. You only supposed to have four. Um, <laughs> group four, what is their person thinking about them, spirit? Oh, we have the hanged man reversed. Wow, here we go. With the nine of swords. You'll get you just pulling the cards. 
Nine of Swords is in the upright position. Your bottom deck energy is the Tower. So I have a feeling that something did change here, okay? This person, I mean, maybe this was just their personal life if you don't feel like there has been a shift in your connection. But the Tower Reverse tells me that there was something that happened, potentially unexpectedly, but it was in a very sudden way. Um, and it happened to kind of give this connection the chance that it deserves. It feels like there was a reversal energy here of like pulling energy back and allowing for the right kind of energy to come in. So I'm getting like a fan that's like an exhaust fan that's like sucking out all the hot air and it helped free space in this connection for the right kind of energy to come in. Get, get that hot air out and let's like look at what is actually left. I feel like this connection has reached a level of acceptance. This could be a divine counterpart situation where you kind of have to accept your present circumstances, how the two of you inspire each other, that there is love in your connection, that despite the distance, there is a strong connection, almost telepathic bond. Excuse me. There were a lot of answers amidst the confusion and that you do need to find your peace. This person's thoughts of you are very positive and yet... They also feel like that's as close to you as they can get at times. It's like their thoughts are on you, but their body isn't, if that makes sense. There's a um, busyness here to this person with the Two of Pentacles reversed. It's like they enjoy your company. They enjoy you. They love thinking about you, being with you. Um, but the Two of Pentacles reversed is like their timing of this is, is very hard to marry up. Like, they, they want you to know that they think of you all the time, even when they're not with you, especially when they're not with you. With the emperor here in the upright position, this person's thoughts of you are to bring more clarity to this connection. If there was any confusion or uncertainty, I feel this person wanting to take responsibility and also accountability of their actions and wanting to really... Um, be more of a dominant role in this connection, play more of a dominant role. They seem to be very much in their uh, macho sort of energy. There's a lot of dominant masculine energy in this part of their thoughts. And it has to do with the answers here. I have the answer. The emperor is here trying to deliver it. So it feels like there's clarity and there's desire to move forward with this clarity. I have a feeling with acceptance and the father of pentacles over here that there has to be a strong or there is a strong tie to one another of loyalty and connection and commitment here. There is a strong feeling of like ride or die. The father of pentacles upright is a very loyal, committed, responsible person, someone who doesn't just just, you know, willy-nilly jump into something. That is someone who's very accomplished and very capable, but also very um, careful about, you know, who they pledge their allegiances to. And yet with you, there's this fierce sense of loyalty. I want to say that this loyalty could have been fairly new. Maybe in the past it wasn't always there, or you didn't always feel like this person was as committable as you were. Um, but I want you to know that when they think of you, they think of you in a way of like, that's my ride or die. That's someone who I feel an allegiance to, who I have pledged an allegiance to. That's part of my family almost. Like they, that's how they see you. That's why I felt like family vibes before. Um, you mean a lot to this person and they respect you deeply. Group four, this person really looks up to you. They almost see you as like the boss, you know? And it feels like as they grow themselves and, and take on this um, energy as well, they're starting to really, really see you as um, someone very similar to them in the sense of you're both very um, assertive and dominant energies. This person feels that you've helped them accept parts of themselves and become parts of themselves. I heard I'm becoming, so I feel like they are inspired by you absolutely with the Mother of Wands here. I love thinking of you. There is attraction here, okay? Take this if this resonates as a romantic connection for you. There's a lot of physical attraction, okay? A lot of chemistry. Um, it's very natural. It's not something that can be forced. This person just knows that they have chemistry 
chemistry with you, group four, that you two work well together, you light their fire, but they've been able to, um, I, I'm hearing smolder it into something more manageable. So potentially when you first met, it was a lot more intense and maybe a lot more difficult to manage, but now it's something that they can live with. <laughs> it's not just this impulsive sort of flame that's burning inside them. The mother of ones tells me that there is, again, a lot of respect for you. There's a lot of admiration towards you because they do feel inspired by your presence in their life. You have inspired them to be this ambitious, go-getter, assertive person, and they want more of your energy, to be honest with you. Their message to you in this part of your reading is that they want more of your energy. So I feel while they're in this dominant energy, they may be making little plans to try to spend more time with you if they feel like they haven't. Um, they're really trying to link up with you, though. With I Hear You and the Hanged Man and the Nine of Swords, this person's been dreaming about you lately, sweets. They've been connecting to you um, spiritually as well. I feel this person has a strong astral presence around you, um, or the two of you just have this sort of mixed energy where you kind of connect very easily. It's very easy for this person to send themselves to you and vice versa. They have been dreaming about you lately, though. I also feel like when this person is confused or when they don't really know what's going on they talk to you in their head and they kind of get advice from you and they try to figure out like what you would do or what you would say to them in those moments so there is that sort of thing that um, dynamic again of looking to you for support and seeing you as someone who is like family you know um, you just feel like a solid, reliable person who's also very wise. They feel that there were lessons in this connection that they didn't learn until recently with the hanged man reverse. The wisdom of those experiences hit them in a delayed reaction, whereas you seem to have adapted and evolved quicker. I want to say that this person is still kind of in a, in a gray area with the tower reverse. They're not really... Um, 100% through the thick of it, so to speak. They're still experiencing challenges and changes, but they are becoming an incredibly strong person because of that. And they're becoming very, very, very grateful for the journey that they've been on with you because of who they are and who they are becoming as well. Um, they got clarity here though, so I'm interested to see what their channeled messages will be, but until then, let's have a look at how they are feeling. Those are their thoughts of you at the moment. Let's have a look at how they are feeling. Group four, please, spirit. Group four. How is group four's person feeling about them? Group four, please, spirit. How is group four's person feeling about them? Hello, we have Divine Feminine coming out. I saw the Divine Masculine there too, so to be fair, it was kind of like this, but my eye went to Divine Feminine first. So we have that counterpart energy coming through. Group four, how is their person feeling about them? Hello. Oh, wow. They're feeling curious. They feel like it's been a while since y'all have connected. They're feeling a little bit like, hmm, something's going on here. This person has noticed a shift on your end when it comes to your focus and your energy. It feels like your energy is being diverted to yourself now, um, to your root chakra is what they're saying. Whereas before you had this sort of love pouring from your heart straight into them. And now it feels like you've had to ground yourself. This person's worried that you've done this as a matter of defense and they're concerned that you needed to protect yourself from someone or something so they're very curious about what you're up to especially if you don't maintain regular contact with this person their energy is like okay what's going on why have you changed group four please spirit what does this person feel for group four we have not tonight honey this came out for another group as well i love that the um author of the deck put honey there <laughs> that's so cute <laughs> not tonight honey it's not the best message but the honey kind of is like that extra syrup on top of the crap sandwich you know <laughs> like thank you <laughs> group four please spirit what does that person feel for them right now what does that person feel for them right now please group four spirit we have found oh my days is it's just one word but it feels so profound 
Found, 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 profound. We have unfamiliar territory as your bottom deck energy. So this person's heart space, it might be doing a little bit of tinkering, you know, a little bit of do -do 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 trying to wake up and um, get up. So I'm going to get tarot out as well before I dive deeper. Excuse me. <laughs> What's going on there? Strength was being stubborn and wouldn't, <laughs> wouldn't shuffle in. Group four, please, Spirit, can I clarify how their person is feeling about them right now? At the time that group four sees this reading, how will their person be feeling about them? Oh, dang. Look at this combination. Two of cups with the three of swords. Holy heck, if that isn't divine counterpart energy. Um, how does this person, we have the world card literally just popping out. How does this person feel about group four, please, spirit? I keep seeing the empress, but she doesn't want to come out. She's like, hi, <laughs> hello, <laughs> me again. I'm not going to come out though. We have the star instead. Not tonight, honey, with the star, this person. I feel like they do long for you, sweets. I feel like they do yearn for you, right? There's a craving feeling here. But again, they've learned to smolder that in, in, in the sense of almost smother it to make it more manageable. You're still incredibly desirable to this person. The chemistry is so insane and they feel your presence with them. You're really coming through strongly. I can feel the energy in this card. You're very strong to this person. They can feel you before they see you in a room. But... It's like you're at a distance here or you just can't have that as much as you want to. Um, how does this person feel about group four? How does this person feel about group four, please, spirit? We have the nine of wands in the reverse position here. Beautiful. Your bottom deck energy is the three of wands in the upright. Oh my goodness me. Group four. Let's get into it. I feel like I've stalled enough. <laughs> I got a little bit selfish. I wanted to sit in your energy because it's beautiful to be honest with you. But like all good things, it's not that they come to an end, but they certainly start to become more realistic, don't they? And what I'm noticing here with this person's feelings is that their thoughts are really trying to stay positive to counteract how they may actually be feeling because it's almost like this person has realized, right, that they are are the master in terms of their reality and they need to be very in control of their thoughts so they have been trying to project the desired outcome into their reality by really controlling what they're thinking and projecting these positive really affirming assertive dominant thoughts towards you and this connection when it comes to their feelings there is a softer side to them and it comes through when they think and feel um, for you, there is this feeling of like wanting union with you down here, um, but it's it has to do with them accepting and needing to share their insights with you. It's almost like they've learned that in order to get this with you, they have to kind of go through some sort of pain first. They have to awaken to some sort of truth first. They have to go through the ring of fire first. The Three of Swords is saying that this person's mind is expanding and the reality of your connection did cause them pain, especially if they rejected you initially, sweets, especially if this person ran from the connection initially, right? Now that they realize what it is, it's caused them pain to realize what they've run away from. They're very curious about you because I feel like this person is also doing their own thing. They've manifested as someone whose thoughts are very busy and yet also constantly on you. But when it comes to their feelings, they do constantly feel a pull towards you and they feel that there is sort of unfinished business with you. They feel that the two of you deserve a happy ending. They feel that you deserve some sort of honestly like glory, glorious ending that needs to be written by like an incredible mind. Um, I'm hearing Nicholas Sparks. Okay, I haven't read his books, but I'm familiar with his movies. Um, <laughs> but they feel like you need like this glorious ending here with the world and the what are you up to. 
this person hopes that you're in alignment. I don't know what their knowledge is when it comes to spiritual connections, but they feel that the two of you are on a similar path, even though you may be at a distance here. They feel that you're on a similar path when it comes to achieving and aspiring towards your goals and really just wanting to kind of tick certain boxes. This person is curious about what you are working on at the moment and they are genuinely curious about what you get up to on your day-to-day -day life as well. They're just like feeling very much like needing what's the word I don't want to sound them very make them sound needy but they do kind of feel like they want to be there with you um and with the not tonight honey and the star I mean I told you what I felt here but I'm going to go over it again it does feel like this person wishes and is hopeful um despite the fact that it's not quite possible right now but there is again this level of acceptance that it can't really happen right now it feels like this person genuinely loves thinking about you you have a healing energy over this person and thoughts of you as helping them evolve and embrace their true self you had bring about a level of authenticity and this person, I'm seeing a lot of Aquarius down here, okay, a little bit of Capricorn, um, but mostly it's sort of this desire to be authentic and this real push towards a positive outcome, a positive future, and at the very least, a, a strong friendship, right? I'm seeing a strong sense of like friendship here and just feeling like the two of you would have each other's backs because you're so similar and you understand each other so well. I feel like this person is really wishing you well and hoping that you are healing as well, especially if you had opened up to them about something that you were going through. They really hope that you're in a better place. They hope that you've been taking care of yourself and that the world has been treating you kind. I feel that this person is hoping that you have the right people around you. And they're also kind of wishfully looking up at the sky and going, when can I get to see them again? When can I be with them again? There's a strong feeling of yearning here okay and it's because of this mother of wands and this I love thinking of you there's a strong feeling of yearning here now with found I'm getting that this person's feelings haven't always been obvious to them when it comes to you maybe they maybe they had moments where they doubted this connection or where they doubted their feelings for you right or how profound <laughs> of a person you are in their life but I can tell you that at this point in time that you were seeing this reading this person has found the truth and they've broken down the walls that were standing in the way, almost like barriers, and they've started to really embrace the reality of this connection. And they've started to realize that when it comes to you, there's really nothing, like it's not that complicated. <laughs> they were making it more complicated than it had to be. Um, on a very basic level, the two of you just simply have this insane attraction and chemistry that is undeniable. And on a more complicated level, yes, there are feelings here and there is love here and there is a need to accept each other for who they are in order for this connection to work. I feel that this is the kind of person who, like, no matter how far you physically stray from each other in life, there's always like an energetic bond and there is this energetic sort of love line where you can send love to one another at a distance and this person has picked up that recently something's happened on your end of the line and they're just sort of hoping that it's nothing too bad um, they're hoping that you're you you're okay and that you hold the same intentions as they do. I see this person's feelings for you growing. I see this person's feelings for you anxiously sort of manifesting. Um, they do seem to be eager about something in the future, although they're not really telling me based on these cards when that is or what that is. They just seem to be eagerly manifesting you um, back into their life. And I want to say with the three of wands that regardless of any distance or disconnect in the physical, this person's energy, feelings, thoughts are very much with you um, on that level. So let's get some channel messages from this person, group four. Can I, I'm still in a goofy mood. <laughs> I'm trying to act serious, but I'm still in a goofy mood. <laughs> Group four, please, spirit. What does this person want to say to group four? What does this person want to say to group four? I just wish things were different. You know what? I do believe that's the truth, 
But this is where acceptance comes in because the seven of pentacles is about letting nature take its course and sort of just waiting for something to naturally unfold. Um, it can also be about just feeling frustrated and impatient in the reverse and like you just want it now. But I am sensing that this person is just trying to accept the circumstances for what they are. Yes, they're frustrated. They would be honest about that. But the truth is like, what can you do about it? So I do think that this person is trying to work through whatever, like releasing and surrendering control over things that they can't control. Group four, please, Spirit. What does this person want to say to group four? We have I'm ready in the reverse. Yeah, they feel that there are still things that they need to do. They feel that this situation, right? They feel that this situation is not ready yet. I want you tonight, I want you tonight, excuse me, not tonight, honey, <laughs> I want you tonight, I just merged that whole energy of that card, <laughs> so they're not quite ready yet, and to be honest with you, this is the full energy, it's coming back with more of that Aquarius energy, um, at the very least, you know, there's so much um, friendship here, and there's a strong sense of like, I admire you, and you're my inspiration, and I'm, I'm really wishing you well, but on the extreme side, like they know that they can't give you as much as, as you both probably want from each other. Group four. What does this person want to say to group four? We have you matter, okay? Don't forget that. Regardless of their actions, regardless of what they can or cannot do, you matter. This person's actions towards you do not define your worth we also have i am a jealous person i'm a very jealous person this is reverse so this person has had to really surrender a lot when it comes to this connection i feel like this person is trying to literally just keep positivity here maybe this person has suffered karma because of the way that they treated you and they're just really wanting to be careful now moving forward about what they could sort of manifest here um i think that this person at the end of the day, they're trying to say to you, keep your heart space open. I don't want to say it because I'm not, it's not the same message for all of you. But um, one message that I'm getting is that this person wouldn't be angry if you chose love. So maybe you have a few options in your life right now. And it's like this person versus maybe somebody else who's more present, more tentative, more um, there for you. I feel like for those of you that resonate with this, to this person saying like, I don't hold it against you if you couldn't wait. That's what I'm seeing with the Seven of Pentacles reverse and I'm a very, very jealous person reverse. It's like this person saying, it's not that I don't care. It's that I'm sick of pushing toxic energy into this connection. If you need to do that, I understand. Group four, please spirit. What does this person want to say to group four? Think before you act. The word came out straight after I said that. Yeah, that's not the case for others of you. This person is really hoping that you wait for them for others of you. But I can tell you that for all of you, group four, this person is taking a lot of um, time away from this connection to just try to project the best case scenario into it, manifest the best possible outcome, and they're being very careful about their actions towards you. Everything is intentional in this person's actions towards you. What else do they want to say to group four spirit? We also have, I don't want to lose you. The truth is they feel like they already have lost you in the physical sense, um, but they still feel connected to you in their thoughts. I can't even look at you right now. It's like, I can't even, I try, I can't. I'm obsessed with your body. I'm learning to control my obsession. And I do still hope that we have a future together. I hope you do well. I hope I do well. I hope we have a reason to be proud of each other and ourselves. We have, I'm manifesting you as your bottom deck energy. For this to be reversed, I'm sensing that your person is working on a lot of things. It's not that this connection isn't their priority. It's just that they have had to surrender it because it felt like it was out of their control. So they're not actively manifesting you. They're manifesting a lot of things in their life right now. Group four, please, spirit. Can we please get some advice for group four? We have, you are safe. The universe has got your back. 
Yes, and I think you need to know this because I don't doubt that this connection would have hurt you and that what's happened here between you and this person could have been very painful at one point in time. You need to know that the universe is working with you, not against you, and that the goal here is to get you to a point where you are surrounded by the love that you were craving. I feel that what's going on here is that you may be being protected from this person because... As pure as their thoughts of you may be, we can see a disconnect between their feelings and their actions towards you. So you will be protected from what may harm you and you are being guided towards safety right now. So if this person's actions towards you may be harmful, you are being protected from them on purpose. Group four, please, Spirit, at least for this point in time. What does this? What is the advice for group four? We have the moon as well. So you're really being called to honor your divine feminine side at this point in time. Mostly your intuition and your subconscious instinctual gut feelings, right? We all have masculine and feminine qualities within us, but we really want you to tap into that intuitive knowing and to trust what you can feel. This card literally says subconscious mind. Um, I think it says universe. No, what does that say? Feminine, excuse me. And intuition. So literally everything I was talking about. I forgot that it said everything. Beautiful. Love it when that intuition's on point. Um, so yeah, pay attention to those feelings because they are they are honest. They are true. They deserve to be. Um, uh, what's the word? Validated. But we do know that at times energy does not equal intention. And I will talk about the intentions this person has in the extended reading, but I am sensing that for you, this is an ongoing journey of trying not to get your hopes up and of really trying to fill your own cup because you can't always rely on this person to fill yours. So spirits wanting to know that you are safe and you will be protected from whatever may harm you. The universe has your back. You are intuitive. You are very spot on. You do share a strong energetic connection to this person. Trust yourself. Continue to heal yourself so that you can stay open to what is meant for you. Group four, that's what I'm seeing for you, sweet pea. I'm going to take this into the extended now. We're going to have a look at this person's intentions and their next actions towards you, however long that may take. Um, in terms of however long it may take for them to take action, we're going to have a look at what they would do next and their intentions at this point in time. I want to get more channeled messages. I'm also going to be getting advice. And if it is helpful, only if it is helpful, we will be getting 18 plus messages as well. Only if it's helpful. If it's going to cause more pain than good, I'm not going to do it. But I feel like you guys are a safe bet. We could probably get away with it. So if you are interested in the extended reading, it, the link to all the extendeds will be in the description box. You may choose to only look at group four or you may choose to rent the collection. It's up to you. If you have messages in more than one group, it may be more efficient to rent the collection. But anyway, thank you so much. I want to thank you for being here, Group 4. It is an honor to read for you. I hope this reading helped bring more clarity, support, and guidance to you in your journey through love, life, and everything in between on my days. Um, I just want to thank our spiritual teams as well, um, our teens, our guides, our angels, our ancestors. Thank you so much for being here and for helping me channel these messages and for keeping me safe while doing so. I shall connect with you very, very soon. Bye.